Trendenberg sign. The Trendenberg test or sign is used to test the integrity of the hip abductor muscles. The Trendenberg sign occurs due to disruption of the hip abductor muscles. There are two main muscles for hip abduction, the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. The gluteus medius is the main hip abductor. Both muscles are innervated by the superior gluteal nerve. The function of the gluteus medius and minimus muscles is hip abduction, and this function can become compromised due to injury of the superior gluteal nerve. Involvement of the abductor muscle can also occur from injury to L5 nerve root or due to avulsion of these muscles. Avulsion of the tendon of the gluteus medius and minimus can occur at its insertion into the greater trochanter of the femur. This also will lead to muscle weakness and loss of hip abduction. Function of the abductor muscles is to keep the pelvis level during single stance, means when the patient is standing on one leg. When you stand in both legs, each leg will carry half of the body weight. When you have single leg stance, that supporting leg takes the entire load. If the hip abductors connected to the supporting leg, the leg touching the gown are intact, the pelvis will remain level and the trunk will not lean. If the abductor muscles of the supporting leg are injured or affected, then the patient will show the Trendenberg sign. In this example, let us assume that the right side hip abductor muscles are tested. When checking the integrity of the right side hip abductor muscles, stand behind the patient and ask the patient to stand in one leg. If the hip abductors connected to the supporting leg, the leg touching the gown, are intact, the pelvis will remain level and the trunk will not lean. With normal hip abductors, the muscles will contract and the pelvis become level. If the abductor muscles of the supporting leg are injured, the patient will show the Trendenberg sign. As the patient stands on the side of the affected hip abductors, the pelvis on the normal side will tilt or escape downwards, and the trunk will lean towards the affected side. The weight of the unsupported leg and the gravity will tilt the pelvis away from the normal side to drop the pelvis downwards away from the affected side. Since the muscles are weak, tilt of the pelvis cannot be corrected, and this will throw the center of gravity off. At that point, either the patient will lose their balance, or they will ask the trunk for help. So you can observe the following three aspects for Trindenberg sign or test, which is the affected muscle, is in the same side as the supported leg. The supported leg means the leg on the ground. And also the trunk leans towards that side. In addition to the pelvic tilt away from the affected side. So where lean on me came from? The leaning of the trunk towards the affected side is like a friend that came to help because that friend understands that there is a problem. It's almost like the affected side is calling on that friend, telling him to lean on me if you are strong, because that side, the affected side, needs a hand. 
So you can see that the pelvis is tilted, running away from the affected side. So it didn't really help, but the trunk came to give the abductors a hand, to lean towards the abductor and help them. The trunk helps in stabilizing the pelvis and maintaining the center of gravity by leaning towards the affected side of the pelvis. If you're watching a video on a Trendelenburg exam, or if you're watching a patient in the clinic, observe the patient standing on one side. Then ask yourself the question, does the trunk lean towards the side of the supporting leg? And does the pelvis go the other way, the runaway pelvis? Then that side that the patient is standing on is the affected side, and the abductor muscles in this side is affected. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.